Okay, so have you ever thought of things out there that may be keeping you poor? that may be keeping you poor or may be keeping you uh, at a particular place that you don't have to be well you're not the only one so today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you four things that are keeping you poor or not being able to get to the level that you want to get to financially the first thing should be obvious but to many people it's not obvious the first thing is Living above your means. Living above your means means making or having a certain income, but always going above and beyond what you can actually afford. So what they say is if you can't afford something times four, then you should not be buying it. It may be something that you don't need. And with today's day and age, everyone wants convenience and you know the better things in life and more than what the next person have so you are spending extra on lots of things including cars clothes uh food which is a major uh, major point and also things like ubering and other services that are just convenient not that you actually need them so these are things that we need to think about are we spending more than we should be spending for any particular service? Now, it's nice to have nice things and want nice things, but do you actually need them and can you actually afford them? So the next thing is not paying attention to your credit score. Your credit is an indicator of a lot of things and behaviors about you. Your credit score is going to help you get approved so you can leverage your score into doing and getting other things that you actually want and that you actually need for you and your family and to also put you in a better position such as loans cars and other things that you may need uh, approval for mortgages and apartments employment uh the list is endless when it comes to credit because there are so many things that credit is calculated for that you may not even be aware of so your credit score is causing you to pay more money for certain things that you don't have to and in fact taking money from you that you can be using elsewhere so credit is a major factor credit is a really big deal when it comes to the fact of keeping you in one position versus another so the next thing kind of ties into credit because if you're not doing this then you probably have a bad credit score which is budgeting and saving so budgeting and saving can help you map out so many things in your life what you need what you want you need to put those down in writing what you need versus what you want this can help you to save in the long run have money for things that you actually need and cut out those wants that are just causing you to spend when it is truly unnecessary that you spend on that particular thing so what do you need versus what do you want is going to be a major factor in, in uh, budgeting so make sure you budget so you can actually see in real time what it is that you need one of the last things that I'm going to talk about is student loan debt, substantial student loan debt. Now, going to college can cause you to take out loans that you can be paying back for, you know, a lot of people for the rest of your life. Because why? Because you get into this debt and then when you actually graduate, you don't have a position that can actually cover the amount of debt to repay back fast enough so you're in this spiral where you're trying to pay back debt you have interest and so on and so forth so student debt student loan debt is basically keeping people poor because it's not really something that people can afford to pay off soon enough and then it's causing them to put other things 
behind them that they could be also using, uh, you know, for their financial gains and for their financial goals. So you have to really understand, you know, what that student loan is and try to find the best way to pay it back, look at interest rates. There are lots of things that you can do, but is college helping you or is that college debt not helping you? Without having that permanent job that covers the amount of your student debt repayment plan, you could be stuck paying that debt, you know, for long amounts of time, which can hurt your financial health. So think of all that, take it all into consideration, budget, save, and do those things that can actually help you get out of that position to put you in a better position.